we are the Discussion Brothers, and today we are going to be talking about um, straight razors and disposable razors, and what the cost versus efficiency is, I guess. More or less. I mean, it all kind of started because I'm really considering getting a straight razor, and supposedly it's a lot cheaper in the long run. And the reason I say in the long run is because, like, it's $200 or so to get started with decent straight razors and stuff. But supposedly, it's over the span of your lifetime, it's cheaper. Yeah. Um, so we did some data. We collected some data. We went to the local grocery store. And we, uh... We collected some serious amount of data for just some stupid topic. And, uh, this is basically what the channel's going to be about. Stupid discussions over stupid topics. I don't think this is stupid. I think this is rather important. It's not important. stupid, but it's really, uh... It's not... It's, it's not, pretty not, awesome. It's not a topic people talk about. It's not politics or... No, it's not political or... Or, uh... What important. Things. Yeah, it's not... No president. Related things. Yeah. Unless he wants a straight razor. Yeah. If he wants a straight razor, then... Might as well. Right. Um, anyways, uh... So, the first amount of data we did... What we did was we collected... Um, uh, the cheapest uh, disposable razors you could get and the shaving cream and how, how that would cost for an average lifetime. The average life expectancy for uh, someone... A guy. A, a male. A male. Um, this is, we just did males because, you know, women probably don't have this problem with shaving. Uh, that and they wouldn't use a straight razor. And we did this completely on face. We didn't do any under body parts or nothing like yeah, that. Yeah, well, you no wouldn't legs. use a straight razor on anything else. Well, yeah, yeah, but, I mean, okay. these disposable razors. Right. So, um, so, yeah, we did the cheapest, and then we did the most expensive you could get. Yeah, so we did average lifespan was to 76, oh, 76 years, years old, yeah. old, starting from 18. Starting from 18. So no, it's no, 58 no. years. Uh, yes. We could just say lifetime, because this is... Oh, yeah, 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 no. You're an idiot. Oh, we I mean, started yeah. at 18 years yeah. old, and we, we went started, to 76. We it's 58 we years. We started at 18, and we still went to 50. And the prices are reflected on shaving twice a week. Yeah. Prices are reflected on shaving twice a week, um, every week for the rest of your life. Uh, so, and there's no, like, no shave November, nothing like that. Just shaving twice a week forever. Yes. Yeah, forever. Um, so, let's just start off. Um, for the first, so, so we did the cheapest, this is the cheapest disposable razor that you could get. Um, lifelong with taxes... Uh, was one thousand two hundred twenty-two dollars and twenty-two cents, and that's like the really shitty plastic razors that have one blade, no moisturizer bar, and like a dollar for this giant can of shaving cream, like the worst shaving cream that yeah, there is. But this is the cheapest setup that will get the job done. Yeah, in in uh, your whole life, that's a thousand two hundred twenty-two dollars and twenty-two cents. Right. Um, that's with tax too. Right, um, in Michigan. In Michigan. This is, we got this at a local Meyer, And, um, so that was it. And then the most expensive disposable stuff was... That's, like, uh, high-quality razor, some, like, Gillette Pro Fusion with the vibrating button, and they're awesome cartridges for that. Yeah, the, the $36 cartridges. And just, like, we, uh, and we kind of estimated for all these, like, the amount of shaves you get with each razor, because, like, obviously the cheap ones came in, like, a 12-pack. Mm -hmm. It's, like, three shaves for the really stupid ones, and ten shaves a thing for the really nice ones. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so all in all, we try and base it off 104 shaves, uh, try and do on each one, so. Because there's 52 weeks in a year, two shaves a week, 104 shaves a year. Yeah. Um, so, anyways, the most the cost for the most expensive disposable razors is disposable, um, which is the most expensive razor, cartridges, and the most ex expensive shaving cream. Yeah, and the most. So expensive this is top cream. line stuff. That Everything you can get. that you get, which is the most expensive. Which, when I say shaving cream, I mean um, not the shaving soaps and stuff for straight razors. We're pairing that with straight razors. This is like the most expensive stuff you can buy. Out of, like, a can or something like that. Yeah. And um, it, that, with tax, was $7,142.13. Yeah. Quite a jump. <clears throat> yeah. It's Quite very expensive. Over, you know, close to $6,000 more. Um, yeah, close to $6,000 difference. High-end shaving for the rest of your life. Yeah. With disposable razors. Um, and then the average disposable cost, if you were to go in the middle of everything, 
you, it would be around four thousand with tax, four thousand one hundred and eighty two dollars and eighteen cents. That's just kinda like decent razors, average shaving cream. Yeah, that's that's and we didn't base we didn't actually go into the store and find out the middle one, we just did Yeah, we didn't do any middle <clears throat> prices and figure it all out the long way like we did for cheapest and most expensive. We just average those two values together because yeah. assumingly there's just going to be stuff in the middle and it's just going to average out. So at the low end, you're looking around twelve hundred dollars. At the high end, you're uh, looking about seven thousand, a little over seven grand. Seven grand. Disposable razors. Disposable razors. Yeah. Okay. And now we average four thousand. Now for the big part that's going to lead to the dis- discussion, discussion is straight razors and their price. Now I got the value of this straight razor. And it comes with, the straight razor, it comes with literally, like, the straight razor, the thing you're going to use to sharpen the straight razor for the rest of your life, the thing you're going to use to sharpen the straight razor every single time before you shave, the things to maintain both those things, um, and um, a brush to apply your soap, mm-hmm. and a stand for your brush. Yeah. $270 is a kit for all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Um I had shopped around a little bit more after that because I'm seriously looking into a straight razor. And I supposedly you can not get the sharpening stone for your straight razor right away because you're supposed to receive them prepared to shave and only need to do that like after a year or so. So that could be like a later time cost, but for the purpose of this experiment, we included that. So $270. $270 for one time cost. It's a one time cost. All that stuff you're only gonna need to buy one time. You're gonna yeah, buy one straight razor once. So the two hundred seven dollars is only factored in once in one year. Okay, um, so so after you spend two hundred seventy dollars on all that stuff, there's only one thing you need to buy for the rest of your life for a straight razor. And that is the shaving soap. Which is called pups. They're um, well, I mean it could come in soaps I guess. and stuff, but generally it comes in like a puck and you put it in a bowl and that's what you mix in with the brush. Now, this is we the found the cheapest puck, the cheapest puck at the grocery store, and then the most expensive, there was only one puck at the grocery store, which is this one. The most expensive puck was something we found online, and yeah. it, it probably wasn't the most, the most expensive puck, Yeah, there's pucks, but it was a higher-end puck. I saw pucks go for like $150, and uh, this, is, this is not, it's... It's, it's a higher end. The most box. expensive thing we thought that a reasonable someone would buy. Expensiveness. Yeah. Um, so, anyways, the cheapest uh, cost for the straight razor, the one time cost, and then the pucks. For the cheap, well, technically just the cheapest pucks. Um, with tax, it would be um, $494. $494. And That's with the $270 and then buying pucks for the rest of your life. But that is puck. the cheapest puck. The cheapest puck. That you can buy. Um, and that also isn't including aftershave if you want it. Yeah, but this isn't including but aftershave, that's not, pre-shave, nothing like that. Aftershave is not required. <laughs> yeah, correct. So, and for pre-shave, I looked up for straight razors. All you really need to do is make sure that you soak your face in warm water. So you really don't need a pre-shave. Mm-hmm. And the aftershave is optional, so we didn't include that. We only included all the necessities. So necessities, minimum straight razor. Which and this is this is a good straight razor, for four hundred ninety four dollars low end. Now high end, which the low end puck was like just under two dollars. The high end puck we did twenty five dollars we found online. And total cost of that with tax for pucks for the rest of your life twenty five dollars is three thousand three hundred fifty eight dollars and ninety seven cents. Averaging those two out, um, just under two grand. Um, so, now is where the discussion comes in. So, um, I'm just going to read these values off one more time for you. So, we got low end for the disposables, $1,200 basically. High end, $4,200. Or, sorry. High end, $7,200 for disposables. Average now, disposable cost. Yeah. Average so, disposable cost, $4,000. Right, right. Around $4,000. Just a little... Low low. end, straight razor cost... Which, this is with a $270 straight razor kit. This is just the cheap pucks. $494 low end, $3,400 high end. Or $500 minimum, $34 high. And then middle is about $2,000. Yeah. Um, so now, 
we're going to talk about uh, this. The deciding factor in all this would be really a, like, a preference, experience, uh, how well it will work. You know. Um, so and remember, all this is for a lifetime. So it's this isn't for like one month. Or Assuming one. you're going to live to the age of seventy six, but yeah, I mean, fifty eight years is a long time. Well, this is fifty eight years. So be these. A lifetime. The way these um, numbers compare will always compare that same way over the period of a lifetime that's longer than that. The numbers will just drastically change. Like the straight razor would be that much cheaper. And we're thinking, uh, you know, the, two two shaves a week too. It's two shaves a week. For but know, even if you in- increase your shaves with both of them, it's still gonna increase all the values the same. Mm-hmm. So. So anyways. One the big thing that I noticed at first was that the most expensive straight razor cost is less than the average disposable cost. Mm-hmm. Average disposable The cost. average. Yeah. Um, and what I wanted to... We haven't discussed this yet. We we got this data a long time ago. But not a long time. But Earlier the today, time, and we haven't... Data. We actually did some work, you know, actual work, actual writing, you know, and uh, with that focus. But, um... Uh, we haven't discussed it yet because yeah, we were exactly. like we want to have this first discussion on the camera so we don't have to remember what we said. Yeah. Um, so this so is what this, we got. This is what we got. Um, I can't really remember what I want to discuss, but anyways, uh, so the cheapest disposable stuff sucks. You know, you're only it's the get, worst. Probably cut yourself. Probably it's very get, uncomfortable. Yeah, very uncomfortable. You know, stuff like that. But is the cheapest? Or it is that. not the cheapest. I mean, not the cheapest, but it's the cheapest disposable. Um, it's so around what twelve hundred for a lifetime, and I think that if uh, if I don't know, I mean, if you don't want to go for a straight razor, if you don't want to, you know, look, you know, badass while you shave, or you know, you don't want to possibly kill yourself. I'm joking. You can't really kill yourself. You know, you can't. I, I mean, think no. That is the big deciding factor in between. Um, well, here's the big. Well, here's I mean, the yeah. two big it's, things. It's very yeah. That's what I wanted. The two big me. things between disposable razors and straight razors is um, straight razors. Okay, there's so much maintenance with a straight razor. Like you have to sharpen it once every, I don't know, six months to a year with a um, stone, mm-hmm. and then you have to sh- um, sharpen it with uh, what's called uh, I can't even remember the name of it now. It's a leather strap. It's called a strop. Yeah. It's called a strop. You have to sharpen it with a strop before every shave. But after you get used to it, I've heard it only takes 30, 45 seconds. Right. And I've also heard if you learn how to shave with a straight razor properly, it is very relaxing and zen-like. And you do feel like a badass because you're, just, you know, you got, a- you got that much, you're that much closer to death. Because uh-huh. for some odd reason, you slipped, cut your throat with your straight razor. You can't kill yourself with a disposable razor. You can't. It'd be very hard, mm-hmm. unless you took the thing apart. Yeah. Um, so that is the big deciding factor against straight razor and disposable. But um, I guess my thoughts on the thing would be straight razor is pretty dangerous, uh, you know, requires a lot of maintenance. Disposables are not, but disposables are a lot more expensive. So Also, straight razors is proven to give a better shave than disposable yeah. razors. Um, it's closer, your face gets more smooth, uh, stuff like that. Yeah. So, it really all depends on how much money you're willing to spend, and how much or well, how safe you want to feel. And not only that, but like disposable razors, okay, everybody can like afford to spend a little bit at a, at a time to shave. Not a lot of people want to spend a whole bunch of money all at once yeah. for shaving, you know? But you just, if you have that extra money lying around and you're really interested in the straight razor shaving, it'd be um, a great way to go because honestly, you'd save so much money. Even if you were to factor in things like aftershave, I still think it'd be a lot cheaper than disposable razors because even at the at the low end you're looking at $500 yeah that's half of the cheapest for a light that's crappy disposable razors that's half that less than half of that yeah so factor in like 
a ten dollar bottle of aftershave that'll last you like a year. That's I mean a hundred another five hundred and eighty dollars or so. Yeah. And then yeah, it's the, the with aftershave it's the same as the shitty razors. And that's without aftershave for the disposable. So you just like aftershave with your straight razor. With the straight razor I've heard you should have an aftershave. But then it's 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 not necessary. It's not necessary, but it is recommended. Right. Um, so, that's, yeah. I, I say the final conclusion would be, you know, if you're comfortable, straight razor with a straight razor, or you think you would be, definitely buy a straight razor. Definitely buy a straight razor. It's, it's way cheaper than disposable razors. In um, the long run, yeah. It actually helps the environment because you're not throwing away all these plastic disposables and all these shitty razors. Um, and all the packaging that comes with the razors. Um, but if you're just really not into using a straight razor, and you're not feeling it, and you don't like the maintenance, and you just don't want to do all that hassle. You're like a, you know, uh, you gotta go fast kind of guy. Yeah. Um, buy an electric trimmer. Or, because that's a one-time cost. I used to use an electric trimmer to shave. I mean, it gets the job done. Makes you look like you're... I mean, if you feel your face, it's prickly. But you don't look prickly. Like, you look fine. But if you're going to shave, i definitely go lower average disposable razors. Like, I don't know. Not like... I wouldn't, I wouldn't do these high-end razors because, honestly, I've used normal disposable razors and high-end. And there's not that big of a difference in between the two. Yeah, definitely, if you're going to go for disposable, I would definitely recommend going average, not going all out. Even if you're going to go all out, you might as well just go with the straight razor. Yeah, if you're, if you're into going all out, shaving expensive disposable razors, you might as well get a straight razor because you're into shaving because you're buying all this stuff yeah. to shave your face. You shaving, you might, you might as well take it that step further. Now, one thing we didn't cover in this video, which we, I mean, I don't know, may or may not cover in this video, is the step that was in between straight razors and disposable razors, which was the uh, double-edged safety razor. Um, I don't know what that is. I don't even know. Um, I mean, you could look it up on Google. Basically, shaving, it's all started with a straight razor, I think. I mean, don't quote me on it. But it all started with a straight razor. Then we moved to the double-edged safety razor, and then there was the disposable razors. So... Going old school, a lot of people do the double-edged safety razor to go old school, too. And that's cheaper than, I believe, it's the only thing you have to buy for that are double-edged razor blades. And that can be pretty cheap, and that's pretty old school, too, like a straight, straight razor. But I still think straight razor would be the most badass. Yeah, 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 definitely straight. So our final conclusion, uh, for your conclusion, because this discussion probably both cool, should have different views on opinions. Um, I don't know, what your, your final conclusion? My final conclusion would be, I guess there's two final conclusions for me. One, if you, if you're really, uh, you know, you want to go the cheap way, and you don't really care about, uh, how good your shave is, or how, uh, how well it is, I mean, just go with a, a little better than just really cheap, uh, disposable razors. But uh, if you and if you're looking to go all out on razors, but you don't want to go with a safety razor, um, don't go all out on disposables. Just go with uh, just go with a little higher than average. And, but if you're willing to go all out, you might as well just get a shitty safety razor. So safety straight razors, razors, straight razors. Sorry, um, straight razors. Uh, I I don't really uh, I wouldn't buy because you don't shave. I don't shave yet. <laughs> but um, I wouldn't buy just because of uh, I don't really care. I wouldn't care about, you know, that good of a shape, you know. I'd rather just go. But I'm that type of person, so. Um, me, personally, I mean, I'm honestly looking to get a straight razor my next check. However, I, I have a couple recommendations myself. Um, one, I mean, there are those people out there who just really don't want to put that kind of time into shaving their face. So, like him, and... When I can. Right, so, uh... You'd probably go disposable. And if you really don't want to put that kind of time in shaving your face, look into double, double-edged double safety razors, the old-school kind, because it's still old-school, it's still cheap, it's cheaper than disposables. 
Um, but I think it's quicker than a straight razor. Don't quote me on that either, because I didn't research that all day. I researched straight razors all day. But as far as disposable versus straight razors go, uh, I'd go lower than average disposal razors, because I feel like all these shaving creams are the same. Get one that smells good and that's cheap. Use that on your face. Use a disposable razor that you're comfortable with that doesn't break the bank. Um, also, if you really want to get a straight razor, but, I mean, I'm not your accountant, but you're leaving paycheck to paycheck, a straight razor may not be something to just spring on all of a sudden. I mean, save up a little bit for it and then buy it because they are is a very expensive first-time cost for a straight razor. Yeah. But if you're going to go all out on shaving, I wouldn't waste... You shouldn't waste your time with these expensive disposable razors. Um, don't get me wrong. They're pretty cool. I love their commercials. But straight razors... A straight razor is definitely going all out. It's cheaper and it's more badass than the really awesome disposal razors. Like, like if there were two guys and he's like, dude, look at my Gillette Pro Fusion that vibrates when I push this button, and then the other guy's like, dude, look at my fucking straight razor. Game over, you know. You cut the dude's hand off. Yeah, just game over. Like, I win, I have a straight razor. Yeah. Also, and if you go with a straight razor, I wouldn't go cheap pucks because your face would probably not yeah. smell or wouldn't be great. If you're so, going with the straight razor anyways, you might as well get... I don't know... A pretty good shave out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I wouldn't buy, like, a crazy expensive soap unless you really want a crazy expensive soap. But I think if you're going to go all out on shaving, buy a straight razor and, I don't know, get... go. To, I think they sell pucks like, CVS, corner, Probably, yeah. corner drug stores. Really check out CVS or nothing. Right. Um, I mean, I'm sure they have some for, like, 10, 15 bucks. It smell great. Twenty. So. These $25 ones are just two pucks a year. Yeah, I mean, we're assuming, like, one puck's going to last you quite a while. Yeah, I, 50 I, shaves. We got that off uh, some forum. A forum, we said one puck goes 40 to 50 shaves, 40 to 50 shaves and if we're shaving so twice a week. 50, 50 pucks. I mean, two pucks a year. Right. Um, um, obviously, if you shave more times a week, these numbers aren't the same for you, but they all high. increase the same. So mm-hmm. safety razor, or straight razors will still be cheaper than disposable razors. So if you shave four times a week... Yeah, everything, they, everything would just, just double. double. Yeah. Right. Um, so that's it. Uh, I guess if you want to hear more random discussions, just hit that like button. Subscribe. subscribe. Definitely subscribe. Definitely subscribe. I mean, this is our first video, but, I mean, who knows what else we may come up with. Uh, yeah, we'll definitely do this if people are more Yeah, interested. if people are really interested in this and people give us some good ideas, we definitely love, and go out. Yeah, love to go out and look up some stuff and research some things. Just random things. Put like, a discussion video like on it. Or my opinions versus his opinions, maybe mm-hmm. get a good argument going or something crazy. Yeah, this like one that. wasn't too argument really debated. You should have seen us in the store. This kid's oh, going yeah. crazy I though. Was, I th- Next I th- time maybe we could do bloopers. Yeah, we'll definitely try and record the uh, when we're studies, the, data. the actual yeah. studies. Um, so that's it. So yeah, definitely uh, comment if you have any cool ideas and subscribe. Subscribe, hit the like button.